God is already. I thank you, God thank you for Jesus. Hey guys, once again, how are you all doing? Um, so something dropped in my heart whilst I was in church and I thought to share with you guys. I just got in and you know you guys are my besties. When I thought of it, I was like, oh, I went to share it with my people. So you remember how I told you guys that I had a huge disappointment in um, there was something I was filing for, there was something I was trying to get that I didn't get in January, at the end of January this year, and it hurt me, it broke me. Like I thought it was going to be a life-changing moment for me. The whole filing process was fast, so I just thought that, oh, God was already doing it for me, everything was quick, and on the D-Day, I didn't get what I wanted. Anyways, um, whilst I was in church, something just dropped in my mind, and I was like, um, sometimes we just think that, ah, God failed me. I felt that way, that God failed me. He didn't do this thing. He didn't, he didn't do that thing at the time I wanted it. And we fail to recognize the other things going on around us. It clicked in my head when I was in church that there's really an economic downtown. I'm not sure I pronounced that well. Um, the country is going through a recession. A lot is happening. People are literally living from hand to mouth. And it just clicked in my head that I think I've been enjoying more this period. I think I've been flourishing in the whole wahala. Like, it's happening. I'm not oblivious of the fact that just that things are bad. But it's, somehow it's like there's a fence around me and it's not coming close to me. Like, I'm not experiencing it. I eat the things I want to eat. I'll be expensive. I can still afford them. I do the things I want to do. I pay my bills when I should. I am not struggling. I've had no reason to ask anybody or beg. Yes, I get I get lucky and I get people give me from time to time. However, I have not had a time where, oh, if this person does not give me, that person does not give me, I will struggle. I will not have to eat. And it just clicked that it's like that for most of us. It might not even be in your finances. It might be in your health. It might be maritally. It might be in childbirth. It might be in a lot of things. There are other good things happening around us. But because there are a few shaky aspects, we just forget about the good things and just focus on the shaky ones. And I said something to myself that henceforth I will be in a season of thanksgiving so i am thanking god for everything the one that has happened though the one that is happening the one that has not even happened the one that i'm not sure will happen and that's the life i want to live moving on and that's the life i'm encouraging you guys to live so that's why i'm doing this video it just dropped in my head that we forget a lot of things and we forget to thank god for the things that happen so I am going to start moving on. Maybe from tonight, I'm just going to be doing thanking God. So if you're planning on having a second child or the first one, thank you God for my baby to come. You're planning on getting married. You've not seen husband say for it's not like there's a boy close to you that you say, ah, maybe I will marry this one. You've not even seen. Thank God for your marriage to come. Thank God for your children to come. Thank God for that school fees. Thank God for your house rent that you are not sure. It looks like they are going to pack you out of your house. Just keep thanking God. So that's what I came to say to you guys that irrespective of what it is that is going on around you if you look deeply there's something somewhere that you're basking in something that you're not struggling for for some people it's peace regardless of everything they are at peace their minds are at rest they're not shaking that's something to be thankful for many people are praying for peace of mind that's something to be thankful for so i am just encouraging you to find some time this new week and have a heart um a time of gratitude time where you just say thank you lord all right guys that's all i'm going to the beach hopefully i feel me for you guys my girl clara just who puts me up so i'm going to the beach with clara and some of her friends I'm <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.